So over here, I'm going to show you an example of a patient's wisdom teeth and why we may want to take them out. So the wisdom teeth that you can see here is tooth number 1, 16, 17, and 32. Now this one's pretty obvious. So when you take a look at this tooth, you can see that it's tipped over sideways. And we can see the nerve that's running below the jaw down here. Okay. And so when this tooth is tipped over sideways, it is affecting she has a cavity on this tooth, which she's going to be taking care of. But it is affecting the back end of this tooth right here. So one of the things that she's going to be doing is now that this tooth is out, she can get this filled. Um, if it needs a root canal, she'll be able to get a root canal, no problem, because it looks like it's getting close to the, the nerve right here. And they'll be able to put a crown on that tooth that goes all the way down back over here, and she'll be able to clean it. The other nice thing is because she's young, the bone's going to, fill back up into this area. If you look over here, this tooth is tipped out sideways. You can't see it in the mouth because you won't be able to see it here, but it's sort of half in and half out. Same thing with the one on the left and the one on the left and slamming on the tissues between these two teeth. So you can see this is when she bites down, she's smacking on those tissues. This tooth right here has got a pocket behind it. So this is gum tissue that's sitting over on top to here. So she can't clean this whole back of the tooth. So the whole idea is, is that we take the tooth out, the area heals, the bone fills in. So that is why this particular patient's wisdom teeth are going to be coming out. And so when we do that, they have options. One, is which, one of which is to be put to sleep to have that done or to do it awake. If we do it asleep, then the IV goes in the arm. It's a two-second pinch. They don't know. They don't care. Remember, it's conscious sedation. So they're able to go home, sit on the couch, recover a little bit. Um, typically, they will be at home with their parents, especially if it's like a teenager, um, and they can go back to school and work and whatnot in a couple of days. Sort of depends on the complexity of the teeth themselves.